Hello, everybody. This is Professor Horn. Uh, I want to check in with you since I had to cancel class on Monday. I'm feeling much better, so uh, no coronavirus here. But the university is taking an abundance of caution uh, in preparation uh, for the coronavirus and to help stop the spread of those that uh, are vulnerable and may have a more difficult time dealing with the virus than others. Um, in the coming days, you'll see the numbers of coronavirus cases jump. I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing some locally here in the in Kern County. Um, and this isn't necessarily because the disease is spreading at a faster rate, um, though there's not really a way to tell that yet. Um, it's more so that there's going to be a more of an availability of testing available within the United States and, and, and multiple levels down from the state down to local municipalities uh, that will allow more cases to be diagnosed. So don't be alarmed if you see the number of cases rise. What you need to keep an eye on is the death rate. Um, those of you that have pre-existing uh, conditions, uh, compromised immune systems, those of you that are older, right, um, you are going to have to be particularly careful, right? Um, because BC is worried about um, student safety and as well as continuing to deliver a quality education, uh, the administration has asked us to uh, basically do a dry run next week for our classes uh, in delivering instruction in an online format rather than face-to-face. -face. Um, so if we have to shut down the university, all the UCs have, have now shut down a couple CSUs. So um, this is trending towards that way. There's no definitive answers yet, but we want to be prepared. Um, so in order to uh, get, roll out this thing without much difficulties and to work out some of the kinks, so some of you have not taken online classes. Um, some of you are going to be uncomfortable accessing the material. Um, the good news is I do teach this class online every semester uh, at CSUB, so I am set up and I am equipped to teach it online, so I have recorded lectures and I'll be able to hold online office hours, and it really won't be that much of a disruption, um, but in order to make sure that the transition uh, happens smoothly, if it needs to happen, they want us to do a dry run next week, so we won't be having face-to-face -face class on Monday. Instead, I will be uploading uh, recorded lectures that you'll be able to view at your uh, convenience, right? So you don't have to view them on Monday night necessarily, but you will need to view them uh, during next week before the end of the week. You have to complete your um, inquisitive assignments just like normal, and I will add a discussion forum board on Canvas in order to have some interaction among the students and for you to gain your participation points, right? So not going to be that much of a difference. Um, you'll have the lectures delivered. We won't be able to do some of our class activities that I had planned, but that's okay. Um, and then you'll have a new thing. You'll have to contribute to a um, discussion board, right? And I'll give you some directions uh, within the discussion board itself, uh, but that'll be fairly easy, and I'm going to make it easy on you because everybody has to be flexible, right? So uh, I'm not going to be a stickler with some of this, though you need to keep up on the material. Keep up on your inquisitive assignments. Keep up on your readings, especially with your readings, because you're not going to be able to get all the information delivered to you. Uh, because if I create an hour-long uh, recording of my lecture, I know all of you guys aren't going to read it, right? The research shows this, and I know this from my online classes that I currently teach. So the lectures will be about 20, 30 minutes, um, and they won't cover all the material that I would normally cover in class, but it'll cover everything that you need to know, know to supplement the reading uh, that you have for the class. So if you do the reading, you watch the recorded lectures, you'll be fine and get the same information as if you were coming to class. You'll just miss out on some of the activities. Um, so uh, I'm going to set that up. Uh, so beginning Sunday afternoon, you'll be able to have access to the online lectures. You'll be able to have access to the week's discussion board. Um, and then you continue to have access to Inquisitive. Nothing changes there. Um, because we had to cancel class on Monday, uh, I've adjusted the syllabus, so please look at the new syllabus that's updated on Canvas to give you an idea of the new timeline of the class. Um, not much has changed. I am going to condense the midterm. Uh, we're going to have that in a couple weeks, and it'll be, if we're having face-to-face -face classes, it'll be an in-class, just a 10-question midterm. Fairly simple. I'll make sure everybody's prepared to do it. It's going to be multiple choice. It's going to be an easy midterm for you guys because we're behind. Uh, if we're not having face-to-face -face classes, you'll have that midterm online. Still about 10 questions, uh, multiple choice. So not much changes there, rather than just you take it online or face-to-face. -face. That's going to depending if we're meeting or not. We'll know more in about a week or two, but it is good to do a dry run this week or this coming week 
um, and work out all the kinks. So if you're not able to access some of the material, not able to watch the lectures, not able to participate in the discussion forums, you just get lost. Um, we're able to work that out while we're still able to meet face to face if need be, right? Um, and we'll, we'll work that out when we meet in a couple weeks face to face, hopefully, right? So uh, the school is being very helpful in providing information. I will relay information to you. Uh, but for next week, uh, you have a couple to do's. One is to watch the video lectures uh, that will be posted on Canvas. Uh, two is to participate in the uh, discussion forum that will be posted on Canvas. Uh, and three is to continue to do your inquisitive assignments, right? Um, if you do those three things, you'll be doing fine. You'll be all caught up for the class. Um, and then we'll talk about the midterm as the couple weeks go on before the midterm, and we'll have a better picture of whether or not we're going to be meeting in, in person or meeting uh, strictly online. I will also uh, hold office hours online if we're going to continually have to meet online. Next week I won't, uh, but if you need to get a hold of me, just send me an email. I'm happy to Skype in with you or hold some remote office hours through Canvas. Uh, I'm here to help in any way I can. Uh, don't freak out, right? You got to keep in context. Uh, you guys, most of you guys are fairly young and healthy. You won't have issues. Those of you that aren't so healthy, right? Um, please take extra precaution. We don't want anything to happen to you. Uh, but we have to continue with the instruction, but that's what technology is for, okay? Uh, so to recap, make sure you watch the video lectures that will be posted on Sunday afternoon. Make sure you complete the discussion forum that will be posted on Sunday afternoon, and make sure you complete your inquisitive assignments. Uh, you can look at the new inquisitive assignments dates on the inquisitive website, as well as refer to the syllabus and regarding which chapter we complete each week, okay? Uh, as always, feel free to email me if you have any questions. Uh, and be patient during this rocky time. Everybody's working out. I'm sure you're going to have to do some of this in your other classes as well. Uh, be patient. We're going to have your best interests in mind. We're going to be patient with you. You be patient with us. We'll get th through this together, and we'll get out of this semester healthy and, and uh, being able to pass all your classes, okay? Uh, email me if you have any questions, and I will see you in a couple weeks. Remember, no face-to-face -face class next week, okay? See you in a couple weeks. All right, bye-bye.